Okay, let's say you've got an Ableton session that looks something like this. I've got three parts of a song here. I've got a chorus, a bridge here in the middle, and my third chorus and outro over here to the right. And my bridge does this four chord progression that repeats four times. So you can see one progression is about this long. Let's say I'm listening to it and I only want it to happen twice. So I only want the bridge to be half as long as it is right now. Instead of going over here, you know, and deleting everything, and then grabbing everything to the right and moving it over. What you can do that's a lot easier instead is highlight the amount of time you wanna cut. So I wanna cut all that out, right? So I've got it highlighted. And then go down here to the timeline, timecode area, right click and press cut time, control shift X. And boom. So as you can see that automatically moves everything over including your little markers. And it's just a lot quicker, cleaner, easier than manually deleting stuff. The one thing you want to watch out for, which is no different than regularly manually deleting stuff, is let's say I had grabbed this section over here, where I've got the samples kind of bleeding into the bridge to smooth things out. If I cut time over there, then it would have cut those samples, right? So I would just have to drag these back out to fix that and repair that. But otherwise, it's super clean, super easy, super simple. So yeah, that's how you do the ripple delete, or as Ableton calls it, cut time. I called it a ripple delete in my title because as an Adobe Premiere user, that's what it's called there. And for the longest time, I've been searching, you know, how to do the ripple delete in Ableton or its equivalent. And I could not find anything until today when I just happened to right click here and I realized that that was an option. I know there's lots of tutorials that have already covered that concept, but I haven't actually seen anyone refer to the term ripple delete. And I know that would have helped me a lot, so I'm hoping this video helps someone else too, which is why I made it. And yeah, that's all there is to it, and thanks for watching.